Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, y'all know what today is? Shit. It is Thursday. And you know what? I am so thankful for just being able to wake up every morning. Being able to just smile again. <laughs> it sounds silly to for some people. I've even been told, how can you wake up uh, so happy every morning? Because he gave me life. Because he let me breathe. Because I was able to get up, see my kids, hear my mama's voice. You know, a lot of things to be thankful for. But today's topic, y'all, is it's already done. There's so much that has happened, even still happening bigger than COVID. But when I say Jehovah Jireh is a healer, he is a true healer, and you have to believe it, you have to receive it, you have to know it, that you are already healed. You just have to trust the process. And if you don't believe it, I believe it for you, because man, I've seen some miracles happen on people surviving through this COVID fight. And if you don't think that I know what I'm talking about, it hit hard when it hit my mama. My mama. There was a whole, basically like a, I still haven't even been able to hug my mama because my mama, she, she just wants to make sure that everything's safe and cool like that. But at the end of the day, I... I, for me, I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. I was able to see her up front and close. You know, she still wouldn't let me hug her. I wanted to hug her so bad. She just don't know. I wanted to hug her. Just by being able to see her. Was, was a big blessing for me. Because she was fighting that thing up in her apartment with her husband and to hear her cry or how she couldn't breathe that broke me down but not how people would think it just broke me down because I can't see her she wouldn't let me see her I wanted to touch her and pray on her and you know rub my oil on her and just you know I wasn't worried about it but she wanted to make sure that my kids were protected too But my mama, it hit my mama. It hit a lot of people that I know personally to me. And not everybody personally died. And there's people that I don't even physically know or ever met. But they lived through it. They survived it. So I'm not going to say that God doesn't heal. He does. He heals a lot of things. You just have to believe it. You have to receive it. You want your financial situation to change? It's already done. Just believe it. Start walking in it. Start speaking that blessing into the atmosphere. I'm going to tell you, evangelist Loretta Lou, she was on the line at the prayer line this morning. She was praying over everything. And boy, she let it out. And every morning, many and many more join the prayer line. And if y'all want to join it, y'all are more than welcome to join it as well. Because there's plenty of opportunity for everybody to come together. Oh, Tristan, I see a 
y'all gonna hop over the gate again? I'll do it. So, start believing in what is already done. <clears throat> you know, our future is already written. You just have to understand the process of everything and trust in it. When you want to let go of the will, let go of the will and give it over to God. Start getting these lunches out. Tell I see to open up the gate. I think that's her right there. Did you knock on the door? Did anyone answer? No. Oh, she's sitting in the SUV right there. Ain't that her? Everybody done grab bags. Girl, you the one in here trying to grab some paint. Butts out my car. Here, Renai, take this. Glad I got my keys in my hand. I'd be locked out my van.
Now, as I was saying, y'all got to start really just believing and walking in it. It's a long road ahead for uh, uh, some people. I understand. It ain't easy. I understand. But when, when is it going to be right? When is it ever going to be right for you? Everybody waiting on somebody else. But when God says that it's already done, He's already blessed you, He's already, a lot of y'all take credit from Him. A lot of y'all will just mess it up. So, stop doing that. Understand and trust the process of what he's doing, what he's already done, and what is going to happen next in your life. Now, before I let y'all beautiful, wonderful people go, my brothers, my sisters, every last one of y'all, we're going to lift y'all and all of us up in prayer and cover us as we do daily. Father God, I thank you so much. I thank you so much for your healing. You are the Jehovah Jireh, the provider of many things. You are the Jehovah Rapha, the healer of all. You are more than what people even realize. So I ask that you touch on each and every last one of your children. Everybody's faith has been tested, so I thank you. I thank you for the ability to see eyes open, to see lessons learned. I thank you for your forgiveness, Father. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for everything that you have done in our lives and anything that is about to happen in our lives. I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to see my mother's face in person. And I thank you for the day that I'll be able to hug her in my arms again. Thank you for getting my father through that brain surgery and that lung surgery. I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for keeping my family and a lot of families got it protected. Even the ones who did receive COVID. I thank you for the healing that you did in their bodies. I rebuke cancer. I rebuke lupus. I rebuke all viruses, all diseases, all ills. Anything that is not of you, Father, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I ask that you touch on all of our children. Keep them guided, protected as they go throughout their school day. That they are encouraged and never discouraged because they are our now generation. And I just thank you, Father, for all of our babies. I thank you for my baby opening up and singing on stage and just letting it out. Because in the name of Jesus, you are wonderful. I thank you for everything that you are doing in all of us. And I ask that you continue to spread your love and your grace and your miracles all over our nation and world. <coughs> I love you, Father. Salah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, y'all. Amen, amen, amen. All right, now, it's time to let y'all go. Talk to you later. If nobody has told you they love you today, my dukes, 
This is Chill has told you they love you.